Hey guys, I have my finale for my seven summer flings project. And this was started by Stephanie. Her channel name is the Daisy Girly. And I have really enjoyed this. I was mostly successful. I'm pretty proud of what I've done. <laughs> I've enjoyed watching everybody do this project uh, that has joined in and Let's just get down to what I have used up. I finished the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation in the shade N 3.5. I really enjoyed this in the, um, you know, warm months. It has a really good mirror. I really like this mirror. Uh, I liked it. I would probably purchase it again. I more likely than not will purchase it sometime during the winter because I think this really did a good job at uh, masking dry patches, not necessarily all over my face unless I was just going for a light makeup day. But if I had, if I put my regular foundation on and then I noticed any like dry patches on my chin around my nose, I would dab some of this on it and it really would just mask that and I enjoyed using that. And this one was the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Barely Nude. When I started this project, I had only had this product for a few months. And I used it a lot. But I didn't use it all the way up before it it's dried. It's dried because if I try to put this on my eyes right now... If you can see that, it's it's dry. And when I put it on my eyes, it just makes my eyes look 100 years old. It's terrible. So I did complete this, even though I didn't completely use it up. You know, it's, it's not usable anymore. So I definitely learned something. I will not buy any more of these. I don't know what it is, but that was a... A lesson. I'm glad I hadn't purchased any more. And this is a Dino Platt Pearl Bay Invasion. It was a birch box sample in the shade Baby Pink Clam. To me, it wasn't pink. It was more like a Becca Opal type shade. And I didn't enjoy this on my face, but I loved it putting it on my shins. If I was going out or going to the pool or whatever this summer, I would dot some of this on my chins and shins and rub it in. And it just gave my legs this nice little glistening glow to it. I really, I really enjoyed this. I would not purchase it for that purpose, but I had fun with it and I'm glad it's used up. And then I have the Clinique Skinny Stick Eyeliner in Slim Sable. It was, um, a really dark brown shade. I really enjoyed this. These are these eyeliners that you click up and they're not, they don't go back down. They're not retractable. But I love these super fine skinny eyeliners. This is really good for the upper and lower lash line, but it does not stay in my waterline or tight line. It just kind of disappears. I don't know if I would purchase this one again because for $10 less you can get the Maybelline one and it works just as well as this one but I am glad to have used it up and got to check out this formula and I really enjoyed that and I have the Sephora <sighs> these names though ultra shine lip gel in 08 nude alert and it looks like it's still full, but it's not. It is, oh, there was a hole right there too. You can see through it right here too. I don't know if you can see that, but I have used this up. It was almost full when I started this project. And whenever you um, pull it out, there, there may be a touch left on the wand, like at the very, very bottom or something. But I love this shade. Let me see if I can get a swatch. It's a really opaque gloss, and I love this shade. This shade is like the type of shade that I like when I have color to my skin. Kind of that terracotta ginger coral with some red in it. I don't know. I love, love this. Not the formula, the shade. 
<laughs> it's really kind of sticky and a little bit gloopy and heavy, but those things cause it to kind of hang around on your lips for quite a while. It doesn't last for hours and hours, but it lasts more than just typical lip gloss. Um, I wouldn't purchase these again, but I was glad to have, definitely glad to have used this all the way up. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, and then the two products I didn't quite finish. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray that I had depotted in this e.l.f. Um, container. And I am, I don't know, you can't even see that, but I am right here on it. Oh, you can't even see it. Anyway, I made it to here. <laughs> and I use this a lot. I guess I just don't use a ton of setting spray. I feel like I use a setting spray every day, but I guess when you're just spraying like two squirts, you're not using that much. But I did start up here and I made it all the way down here. So I'm tickled. I am going to keep going with this until it's gone because I depotted it in September of 2014. So it's time. <laughs> it's time. And I do enjoy that. I think it works well. It's not my favorite. The Makeup Forever Mist and Fix is my favorite, but I like it. And then I have the Avon Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Stick in Amethyst. I love this, but I, I really should have thought before I put this in this project because this type of shade is the type of shade that I wear in the cool months. This, oh my gosh, it's just to die for. Literally gorgeous. I love this shade. It looks really good on me, especially during the cooler months. For whatever reason, this is the type of shade I gravitate toward. Um, but when it's hot and I have a little color to my skin, I can, I gravitate toward more bronzy shades. I don't know why, that's just what I do. But I did get a fair chunk of this used up. So, I mean, I'm tickled, but I did that progress in about a month and then I just hadn't used it really since then. So, I, I'm hoping that I can get back on this and get it finished up by the end of the year or at least by the time the winter's over with because I do have two more of these. So, yeah. But I'm glad, you know, I mean, every project I do, I learn something else about my makeup. I learn something else about me and how I like to do things. It's, it's really is great. I mean, it's amazing that I still learn stuff about myself and makeup and how I like makeup and what makeup I'm going to buy and whatever, whatever. It just, just keep learning. So Anyway, thank you so much, Stephanie. I really enjoyed this. I'm so glad I did it. Um, I would not have these five products out if I didn't. So I really appreciate you inviting everybody and starting a great challenge. And I will see you guys real soon.